So first, we are starting off with um, the ColourPop Brow Gel, and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. Um, and I have used almost this entire container of brow gel, finally. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm having trouble coming up for words, coming up with words right now, um, because it is really late. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to take my brow gel from ColourPop and just kind of brush out my eyebrows with it. And, um, then I'm going to, um, carve out my eyebrows with some concealer just to kind of get any loose, um, colored gel off of my skin or to cover it up anyway. Um, I did that under both eyebrows and I also went above and, um, in between the eyebrows. Um, and then I took the same concealer and I just primed my eyelids. So I put it on my eyelids and I took my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and just blended it out. Um, and then I took this Super Shock Highlighter from ColourPop and I went on my brow bone. I also went ahead and did the inner corners of my eyes. Um, I'm actually going to go back and do it again later. Um, so now I'm using this pressed pigment from ColourPop. Um, I'll have everything in the description below as always. And I'm just putting it above and in my crease and then I'm blending it out. Um, and we're turning this into a cut crease. So I'm doing it on the other eye just like I did the first one. I did go back and blend it out more later um, off camera. Just because I didn't blend it well enough here. You want to make sure it's blended really well. So now I'm taking this um, no filter concealer from ColourPop in the shade Bear 00. And I'm just going to cut my crease. And it took me a few tries um, to get it dark enough where it covered the blue that was below on the eyelid itself. Um, so once I got that, I put tape, um, as you can see, on my eye. And then I took the same color and I packed it onto my eyelid and made a wing with it as well. And I just went over all of the white with it. Um, I did that on both eyes. And then I took this loose eyeshadow from ColourPop and I'm putting that over the white concealer um, on the inner to mid part of my eye and then I'm going to blend the two together with this brush just to kind of make it fade into each other um, and that loose shadow was sparkly by the way so now I am taking some lotion that I got from um, a small store when we were in Pennsylvania and um, I just put that use that as a primer and then I'm going with my LA Girl foundation and I'm just going to apply that um, and then I'm take while well, I'm finishing up the um, foundation here you can kind of see how well the coverage is on my forehead that's why I included this so I'm taking that same LA Girl concealer and I'm just going under my eyes, and I also went um, down near my jawbone as well with it. So now I'm going in with my Airspun Loose Powder, and I'm just going to um, put that under my eyes, and then I put it um, below my cheekbone and like between my cheekbone and my jawbone. I also put a little bit um, on my forehead, kind of between my eyebrows and just above that, and on my chin. And then while that's setting, I'm going with my ColourPop um, Super Shock Bronzer. Um, I'll have the shade listed there below. I'm just contouring a little bit of my face. And then I went to wipe the powder off. Um, it had been probably seven, eight minutes by now because um, I take my time. And then I went under my eyes with that same um, pressed powder pigment from earlier um, to go under my eyes. So now I'm putting my mascara on. Um, it took me a few minutes to do because this mascara, um, I like to make sure that none of my eyelashes are sticking together. So uh, now I'm going with that same highlighter from earlier 
and just applying it on my cheekbones. I went back in with the corner of my eyes. And now I'm going in with a um, ColourPop Cosmetics lip gloss in, I believe, 9 to 5. I'll list it down in the description below. And I'm applying that. And here's the final look. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!